in Southern California, the caricature and stereotype sell just like any other commodity. A Chicano being portrayed on the screen is constantly reinforcing this stereotype image because most likely it sells. I'm Tron Noriega, and I'm a professor at UCLA, where I work in media studies, art history, and art exhibition. Over the last 30 years, I've had the pleasure of working with the UCLA Film and Television Archive, bringing to their attention preservation needs and projects related to Chicano filmmaking. Reflexiones was a public affairs show between 1972 and 1974 that the UCLA Film and Television Archive preserved. The producers had a broad framework for social change reworking the idea of objectivity. They would often tell the two sides of the story from the perspective of the Chicano community. They set out to address concrete issues like stereotyping and the underrepresentation of Latinos in media, which hasn't changed. At the time, local television would run their course and those tapes would be erased and taped over for the next series. This was for all TV programs. But producer Tony Rodriguez thought we are foregrounding the Latino population, talking about issues that have never been on television. They were creating something that really needed to be preserved. In 1975, he hands it over to Pat Sanchez, said, I want to back all of this up on three quarter inch schematic tapes. Pat Sanchez drives it over to UCLA, and it's been there ever since. The archive was there to preserve something that Hollywood itself was dumping in the ocean. We've preserved it. You can see it now. In a way, you get a slap in the face from the past saying, hey, you can just show this again because things haven't changed enough. The UCLA Film and Television Archive partnered with the Chicano Studies Research Center, working with Chan Noriega to preserve moving images from the voices of marginalized community that reflected Latino culture. Preservation of television is so crucial because so much of it had been lost over the years. The UCLA Film and Television Archive is the only institution programming television throughout the year. Thousands of folks come out to see film and television in the Billy Wilder Theater at the Hammer Museum, presented in conversation with filmmakers, the public, students, and scholars. Every streaming platform is an archive until their rights run out. But the UCLA Film and Television Archive is always there, and it's always holding that material. As a professor in the film department, it was really wonderful showing nitrate prints, really profound work from Mexico, post-Vietnam War films from Vietnam, Chinese films, films that you can't see otherwise. I've had the pleasure of being able to teach all of these. The archive is tremendous for any student at UCLA, and it is a phenomenal resource for the world to showcase the real history of film, the global history of film.